Hey guys, uh, Brady Snyder. Um, just wanted to go through uh, my mock scrape sequence with raw frozen scents or scrape lure. It's August 6th today. Um, I mowed a few paths in this. A buddy of mine and I mowed a few paths in this area that we were going to food plot, but it just didn't turn out the way that we had hoped. It was, we underestimated it basically. Anyways, um, so I'm going around the spots that we mowed making mock scrapes. I, I like to use a hemp rope just for an attractant so you don't have to mess with the branches. Um, I've had a lot of good luck the last couple seasons with that hemp rope. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because this scrape lure and multi-buck urine played a major role in the last couple years in my hunt for specific deer. Um, what I do is, like you can see it here, it's about head level. Um, this is just a two ounce bottle, depending on how many scrapes you're gonna make. I like to put about an ounce of just the scrape lure starting out. And then working into the season, I'll come back by and just sprinkle a little bit of the scrape lure. And then as it gets closer to season, I'll start using that multi buck urine. And I think you could even use it now because bucks are, I mean, their batches are grouped up, right? So they're still checking out everything, every smell that's, that's in their, their path. Cause they're obviously not working scrape lines right now, but they are going by them. They will stop and check them. So last season was, one that I was really, really excited to talk about because I had a deer that I could not get on camera. I could not see him from the tree. I hunted him for 34 days and there was this corner in this timber next to a big ag field and we saw him in that corner, a buddy did from the road several times and we just called it the Duke's Corner. I named the deer the Duke and he, he was there more often than he was anywhere else being seen. So I went up to that corner, hung a cell camera high up in a tree and pointed it down at this mock scrape I made with raw frozen scent. And that day that I made that, I would have to look, but I think it was the 26th or 27th of November. And the very next day, he hit that mock scrape. Now, that one, it was in the middle of season, you know, the your post rut time. And I doctored that scrape up with scrape lure, probably two ounces of it. And then I used a little bit of multi buck urine and a bunch of the peak, peak 30 estrus. Um, and like I said, I, I will show the video of it. He came in, worked the scrape, looked out in the field, walked off and then Oh, a week later, I killed him 300 yards from that scrape. So it's a testament to raw frozen sense right there. So we'll see you out there. Good luck to you all this season.